Every sports fan knows this feeling. The Patriots down 25 at the half in the Super Bowl. Boston down three games in the ALCS. LeBron down 3-1 in the, in the NBA Finals. At this time, being a Falcons fan, a Yankee fan, or a Warriors fan couldn't be any better. Your team is completely dominating the opposition. The nerds have you have the opposition winning with less than 5% odds, and the fans are feeling it. The uh, championship championship t-shirts are being sold, sold outside the stadium, fans are getting tattoos, and celebrities are already uh, posting the I told you so tweets. As a Patriots, Cavaliers, or Boston fan, you're disgusted. Fans are leaving the stadium, children are crying, and drunk betters are heckling the ref. But when everything seems lost, you, and you alone, have that feeling deep inside your heart that maybe you might come back. And if you have heard any of these stories, you will know what will happen. Tom Brady with 31 points in the half, LeBron going three games in a row in the NBA Finals, and Boston going four games in a row, the only time in history. It seems insane at the moment to be in a flurry of emotion with tens of thousands of hours of work paying off in a span of an hour or two. But when you step back, how crazy is this really? In the, th this NBA season alone, there has been 39 20-point comebacks, not including the playoffs. It's a cliche in movies, the underdog coming back from behind, like, like in Rocky, or Rocky 2, or Rocky 3. And coach saying, it isn't over till it's over in your high school game. Why does it seem like comebacks always happen? Why does it seem like teams always stage one? Is it just a feeling of rare moments that stick with you? Or, does it act, or, is, it, or is it an actual trend that happens? The idea that players play better when they're losing. The rubber band effect is a good place to start. It's a chart made by Mike Bowie that shows for every modern NBA season, the team that is projected to lose, lose in the money line by a certain amount of points outplays the opponent relative to that <laughs> relative uh, to the betting line when losing, which is a confusing sentence to say. So let me give you an example. Uh, this example is by Michael McCle Michael McCleave, who made a good YouTube video uh, explaining this topic. So I just want to shout him out. Um, so in this game, this is a real game. In the game, uh, the Boston Celtics were scheduled to play the Denver Nuggets in their own floor. Boston was favored to beat the Nuggets by four points, meaning that on average, every quarter they should outscore the Nuggets by one point. In this game, the Celtics pulled to pulled an impressive early game lead of four of fourteen points in the first quarter. Assuming the Celtics played to their potential given by the money line, um, they should add three points to their lead throughout the next three quarters and win the game by 17 points. But this didn't happen. On Mike Bowie's chart, when a team is winning by 14 points in the first quarter, it's projected to them it's projected for them to underperform by five points, which they did in this game, in which the Boston Celtics only won by twelve. They still won, but only by twelve. Why? Well with basic with basic thought we can come up with a a a possible solution, a possible conclusion. When teams are ahead, they switch to more a defensive, more of a defensive strategy, trying to trying to not lose rather than to just win. It's the human idea of risk aversion. Using basketball as, as an example, players are significantly more likely to shoot three pointers when losing than when winning, regardless of whether it's a good shot or not. People are afraid of taking the people are afraid of taking that risk. Um, when a team is winning, they might overlook good offensive ideas, being too concerned with defensive ideas, just trying not to lose. Playing aggressive could also be looked down upon compared to playing smart. Playing smart. Um, if you if you dash down the court with two, with, uh, if you dash down the court up by one and get two points with ten seconds left, then cool, you brought the lead to three. But what if you wasted more time, letting your opponent have less time to to get back into the game or what if you called a timeout so your coach could sub out players to put fresh ones uh for a press and especially and it's especially embarrassing if you dash down the court and lose the ball 
well then congrats you lost the game for your team and although the, and although that's a very ex- specific example uh data suggests that this ment- this sort of mentality starts much earlier in the game sometimes even before the second half but what if we're missing the main point uh what if we're focusing on the wrong side of the court the winning side but what about the loser Adding to Mike Bowie's chart, Nathan Walker compiled a chart that shows losing teams are, are shoot better, shoot better when losing, shooting more with more efficiency. There is no reason for this. If a team that is losing scores better over time, doing to understanding the defense or um, uh, what's it called, warming up and getting into the game, uh, why shouldn't the winning team also do that on average? Same with defense. What if we're all ignoring one factor? the most important factor, the person, the player, the individual. As you go through life, we will defeat as you go through life, you will defeat many challenges that no other being can. If a sheep sees a perfect field of grass, it will stick its head out the fence and try to eat as much as possible, and then complain when its neck doesn't reach the rest. A sheep will never come up with a conclusion to stand on two legs and open the fence, but you can. What if us being here is stupid? trying to use numbers to reason out these ideas uh, to figure out how life works when the real uh, just to uh, to figure out how life works to answer the first question yes teams uh, do outplay their opponents when losing on average uh, but why maybe it's because of the insane immeasurable spirit that we all have inside of us <laughs> When, when, when us or our team is losing, to pull away and conquer our problems. Uh, thank you. Yes.